Alright everybody, and now I'm going to do my Anime Blu-ray Collection Part 1. Titles from A to I. So, without further ado, let us begin. Starting off with a certain magical index. Or should I say a stupid magical index with Index and Toma. Toma Kamijo. Also with Misaka Makoto. And that crazy dude known as Accelerator. Oops, not a stupid magical index. I mean, a third magical index, season one. Blu ray released in 2014. Comes in a thick case. Well, that's Accelerator. He's voiced by Austin Tyndall. Toma is voiced by Mika Solusud. And, um. Misaka Makoto, voiced by Brittany Korbowski. And, um. Index, voiced by Monica Rial. Or the Monica Rial. Not sure. DVD discs are black. And Blu ray discs are blue. And that's season one of a certain magical index for you. Moving on. A silent voice. 2019 Blu-ray release from Shout Factory. Film from 2016. Or look inside in transparent blue, like most Blu rays. Or some, I should say. You know what? Nearly all Blu ray cases I've seen are transparent blue, some are solid. And there you go. That's a silent voice, the movie. From, um, let's see now. 11 Arts Anime Studio, Shout Studios, and ABC Animation. Oh, 11 Arts, not 3 Arts Entertainment, no, for King of the Hill. Eleven Hours Anime Studio, all stood Machia. Now moving on. Axe of World, Infinite Burst. 2016 film, 2018 Blu-ray release from Viz. Or should I say Jizz Media? Nope, nope, no. Viz Media. Featuring Kuroyuki Hime for the creator of Sword Art Online. Comes with this the Axel World movie Infinite Burst Timeline. Artwork inside. And that's all the girls from Axel World in a beach with swimsuits. Silver Crow.
Now said about Axel World. Now next, a comic Akil complete collection from Sentai Filmworks, uh, 2018 Blu-ray release. Uh, and no, this is not a reprint. This is an original print. Originally aired on Toonami on Adult Swim. Akame, Tatsumi, and Ezdeath. <laughs> Produced by animation studio White Fox, also known for ReZero, um, Uti Mono Guitar OVA, and um, let's see. Science Gate? I think they also did Steins Gate, not to be confused with the town, White Fox, Saskatchewan. But the animation studio in Japan, known as White Fox. Now moving on. Funimation and Sofa's release of Ocubus Trip, the animation. With the main character, Tomochi Denki Guy. He has blue hair. Blue hair and red eyes. <laughs> and, and with a little bit of white on his hair. And enough said about Octopus Trip the Animation. And yes, this is based on a video game. Oh, and it's also produced by Gunzo. Known for Strike Witches, Helsing, Rosario plus Vampire, um, Chrono Crusade, and others. <laughs> and yes, Octopus Trip was originally a video game on the PSP in 2011. With a sequel from 2013 on the PS3, Vita, and PS4, and Occupus Beat on the PlayStation 4 and PS Vita, came out three years later. After that game was released in 2016. And enough said about Octopus Strip the animation. Next we have Akira, 25th anniversary edition. Kaneda! Tetsuo! Just their quotes from Tetsuo and Kaneda. Shotaro Kaneda? Tetsuo, um, what's his name again? I forgot. For the creator, um,. What was his name? Katsuhiro Otomo. Also did a short piece. And Steam Boy. Features the original 1998 Japanese dub. The 1989 Streamline dub. And the 2001 Pioneer dub. Main disc, black. Extras disc, red. Blu-ray disc, blue. And yes, Akira was aired on Sci-Fi somewhere in the 90s. That was the streamlined version. But as for the Pioneer version from 2001, which had that dreaded THX logo on it, both on DVD and VHS, that was aired on Toonami. 12 years later, after its home video release, heard on Toonami on Adult Swim. But I wonder if Akira was ever in Canada. Here's Apple Seed 13, complete series, with Dune and Newt. And Riarios uh, in this uh, in this cyberpunk adventure from 2011. 
Not to mention, I do have the 2004 film of Appleseed on UMD disc from Getting On Entertainment. But what I'm showing here is Appleseed 13 from Funimation. 2013 and 2014 DVD slash Blu-ray releases. Wait, no. Wait, I think it's 2013, either 2013 or 2014. In this 2017 reprint of Appleseed XII, part of the Super Amazing Value Edition from Funimation. But uh, Funimation doesn't do that anymore. Because, well, we moved on to doing essentials now. And enough said about Apple C13 from Production IG. No for Ghost in the Shell, creator, uh, Mashiro Masamude. Okay, now moving on. Funimation Essentials, uh, release of Aquarian Evil, the sequel to the 2005 Aquarian series. This 2012 series of Aquarian Evil from the creator of Escaflown and Lacrosse 2. Here's Jessica Wong. Just take a look at that hot, sexy ass she has. That girl's got green hair, just so you know. Not sure who this dude is. Um, I'm, I don't know who that girl is, and I don't have a clue who this guy is. Apart from Sun, Sunrise Records, like some of these anime Blu-rays. And, enough said. About Aquarian Evil. Hope to get to uh, Aquarian logo someday on Blu ray. Alright, enough said. Season 1 of Attack on Titan from Kadansha. Main character is Aaron Yeager with uh, Mikasa Ackerman. Originally aired on Toonami on Adult Swim in 2014. Anime itself from 2013. Speaking of Attack on Titan. I have Season 2 of Attack on Titan. From 2017. Here's Attack on Titan 2, available March 20th, 2018, on the PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Hosted by Koi Techno and developed by W Force. Known for doing the Warrior series, Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> That's what Omega Force is known for. Anyway, I believe that Attack on Titan was inspired by some monster movies, something like Godzilla. But except this time, it's skinless giants attacking the village. No, attacking a certain village. The Titans. The skinless uh, humanoid monsters. Alright, enough said about Attack on Titan. 
Oh, and not wait, not yet. I know there is a season three, part one, season three, part two, part one, 2018, part two, 2019, and uh, the final season, season four, will come out in December of 2020. Enough said. Next up, we got Blue Rex the movie, 2013 Blu-ray from Amplex of America, originally released in 2012. <laughs> Kazuma Ikatsu was the creator of Blue Exorcist, Hajime, um, whatever his name was, Hajime Isayama, known for Attack on Titan, which I showed you previously. Here's a fellow card from Anaplex of America, a postal card from them, I should say. Oh, and it came with a sticker like most Anaplex Blu-rays do. Disc. Sadly, Anaplex Blu-rays don't have any previews on them. All it consists of is just the warning screen. Some logo is seen on some Anaplex Blu-rays, whether it's, um... Crunchyroll or um, Katakawa or whatever. Anaplex of America logo. It just goes to the menu. Next up, season two of Boom Street Dogs. From Crunchyroll and Katakawa with uh, Atsuchino Kajima. Osamu Dazai and um, Kyoko Izumi. From the animation studio, Bones. Known for Full Metal Alchemist, My Hero Academia, Norigami, you know. Oh, Eric 7, you know, this and that. Digital copy code. Oh, and even came with an ad for the manga of Bungo Stray Dogs, or should I say, Bungo Stray Cats. <laughs> From the end press. <laughs> no, no, it's Bungo Stray Dogs. And yes, I do have the manga of it. <laughs> and I showed you that in my manga collection. Oh, there's Octagawa. And there you go. That's season two of Boomer Street Dogs for you. And now moving on, we got Sea Control. Originally released in 2011 from from Fuji. From Fuji Television Incorporated. That's where it was aired on, I think, Fuji Television. And yes, one critic describes it a, a foundation fusion of Tron and Wall Street. And that is Tom Pinchuk of Anime Vice. And that's what it is. It's like Tron fusion with Wall Street. Boy, what's this? Every episode starts with a C. That reminds me of Friends uh, and Akamega Kido, as well as Black Cat and um, Card Captor Sakura. Or Card Captors, I should say. White DVD discs. Uh, and black Blu ray discs. Uh. That is heat control for you. 
Next up we have a, a Netflix original series known as Castlevania Season 1. Based on the video game by Konami, produced by Frederator Studios. Known for doing Adventure Time, uh, Fairy Godparents, uh, Shock Zone, etc. Twenty eighteen Blu ray release. And speaking of Castlevania, here's a two thousand nineteen Blu ray release of season two to Castlevania. Based on the hit video game series by Konami. With one of the characters I know of being Trevor Belmont. Or Simon Belmont. Here you have Auric Inside. Unlike the previous one, which was completely blank. Nothing but white. Um, transparent blue. Comes in eco case, which you know, I don't really care for eco cases. Don't want eco cases. Oh. And there you go. That is season two of Castlevania. Oh. Next up we have uh, Card Capture Sakura the movie, 15th anniversary edition, released in 1999, 2014 Blu-ray, featuring Sakura Kinomoto and her, her little pit guardian, Kiro. Speaking of Card Capture Sakura, here is the collector's edition of Card Capture Sakura the Movie 2, the sealed card. Released by Discotech Media slash Eastern Star. So like, just like the first one. Here you have some artwork inside. This. And there you go. That's Card Capture Soccer in the Movie 2, the sealed card. Next. Is Track of the Coffin Princess Season 1 and 2 featuring Cheka Trabant, Toorakura, and um, Akari. That's one of Cheka's sisters. And there you go. That is Track of the Cuff Princess for you. Released by Sentai Filmworks. Next up. Part of the Science Adventure series. Is Chaos Child. 
featuring that girl with, uh, with those uh, big busts or big tits. Whatever you'd prefer on the front cover. I don't know what her name is for sure. But the main character is actually that, uh, that dude. I don't know what his name is. Uh, oh wait, what's this? Takuru Miyashiro? Is that his name? Takuru? Came with a digital copy code. Part of the Science Adventure series, like I said. Which features Chaos, Chaos Head and um, Science Gate. Oh, and I'm missing something else. Robotics note. And yes, I'll show you Steins Gate later. And anyway, that was Chaos Child. Uh, 2019 Blu-ray release. Uh, originally uh, 2017 Blu-ray or 2018 Blu-ray. No, wait, 2018. Enough said. Speaking of chaos, here you have, yet again, an essentials release of Chaos Dragon. Featuring that young boy with white hair and red eyes, and it's not Bill Cornell, it's Ibuki. From Toho Animation. Ugh. And there we go. That is Chaos Dragon. 2016 Blu-ray originally and 2019 Blu-ray. The, the original series is from 2015. Next up, we have Conception, the complete series. 2019 Blu-ray, 2018 anime series from Gonzo. And no, it's not that character from the Muppets. It's the animation studio known as Gonzo. Based on the video game by Spike Tunesoft. <laughs> and yes, I also do have the game on the PS4. Even though the game originally originated on the PSP. Disc 1, Disc 2, and that's like uh, Occupus Trip, Occupus Trip, and yes, I do have Undressed and Undead on my PS3, like I'll show you my PlayStation 3 collection, and there you go. That is conception for you. Next up, Shilu Chase Lost Voices. It's part of the Sentai Select series from Comex Wave Films. Also get those um Sobi Yamamoto shorts. <laughs> From the director of Voices of a Distant Star, 5 centimeters per second, and Guardian of Words, which is, um, Makino Shinkai. And yes, this was aired as part of Filler. No, aired as Filler during the Intruder 3 on Toonami. And that was back in November of 2016. 
Blu-rays. And DVDs. Two thousand sixteen Blu ray release. Moving on, we have Code Breaker, my first Funimation Save Edition Blu ray. Featuring Ray Ogumi and um, Sakura Sakura Koji. That's her. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, an evil for evil. A quote from the Bible. That's a cool breaker for you. Next up is Capillion, the complete series on Blu ray. From the animation studio that brought you K. Star Child, known for K Project, uh, as well as Neon Genesis Evangelion, and um, Fooly Cooly, etc. Damn, I don't know what's wrong with this case. I don't really know what's the problem with this Blu ray case. Damn, what the hell's wrong with it? 2015 Blu-ray release from Viz Media. Here we go. And that is Capellion for you. The complete series of Capellion. Now next up, we have Darling in the Franks Part 2 with Hero on it. The front cover. Released by Crunchyroll on ABC Animation. And no, no, it's not the American ABC. It's the Japanese ABC. Featuring Zero Two. And Hero. There's no copy code. I also do have part one of Darling of the Franks. The DVDs and Blu rays are practically the same covers. The same disc covers, that is. And that is Darling of the Franks for you. Part two. Next up. Dead Space Aftermath, 2011 Blu-ray from Manga Entertainment and Anchor Bay Entertainment. Holy crap, it takes place in the year 2509. Man, I'd be dead then. Based on a video game from Electronic Arts.
and here's your Blu-ray disc for Dead Space Aftermath. And yes, I also do have Dead Space Downfall on DVD. I showed you that in my anime DVD collection. Moving on. Originally aired on Toonami on Adult Swim. And uh, the first anime to be broadcast on the new Toonami, Dead Man Wonderland, from the creators of Erica 7, which looks v visually similar. That must be um, Jinsei Katsuoka and Cosmo Kondo. M must be their art style, I, I believe. And yes, this is uncensored, just like... Uh, just like what you'd expect for a home video release. And yes, this was censored when it was aired on Toonami back in 2012 and 2015. There was a lot of bleeping in it too. Such as, um, you know, the psychopath girl, whatever her name was. Uh, was M Maki? I forgot. Death is the main attraction. I remember how Gonti Garashi was thrown into prison. Wrongly convicted for murdering his classmates. But that was not true. It was actually that mysterious red man who murdered his classmates. Not Gonta, but he was thrown into prison and thrown into Dead Man Wonderland. Which is crazy. And you'll need extreme skill to survive this. Or extreme luck, I should say. Also has Chiro in it, too. You know, that girl, that pale chick. Alright. Moving on. Here you have Die Hat Quantum. The complete OVA series. Originally released in 2012. And quite possibly the only Die Hack Blu ray release from Funimation. Cool vertical art cover. And there you go. That is Dot Hack Quantum for you. And yes, I do have the other three Dot Hack series on DVD, and they're also released by Funimation. Next up, Digimon Adventure Tri, Kuma. Six Film Collection. Reunion? Determination? Oh, crap. Confession? Loss? Coexistence and future. And there you go. That is Digimon Adventure Try, 6 film collection. Oh. Next. The last anime Blu-ray I bought from HMV before shutting down in 2017. Early 2017, that is. 
And here we have the Empire of Corpses 2015 film, 2016 Blu-ray. From Red Studio, also known for Attack on Titan. And there you go, that's the Empire of Corpses for you. Next up, Eric is having the movie, Good Night, Sleep Tight, Young Lovers. 2009 film, 2014 Blu-ray. Now, I originally had the DVD version, but almost three years later, I replaced it and got the Blu-ray release. And man, I'm glad to have this Blu-ray now. Since I originally tried to get the Blu-ray back in 2016. But sadly, I didn't have enough money to buy the Blu-ray. So instead, I bought the DVD. But, I'm glad I replaced it. Now I have the Blu-ray. There you go. That is Erica Seven. Good night, sleep tight, young lovers. Speaking of Erica Seven, here is Eric, Erica Seven Astral Ocean, the OVA, part OVA, part game. So I'm going to add for Erica 7 Astro Ocean on Blu-ray, which, you know, I I won't bother with the Japanese release because we already have the English Funimation release, and I'll probably consider buying it one day. There's an, there's an ad for more hybrid discs on Blu-ray, which I'll probably consider buying one of these one day. I already have this and that. I'm not sure what, sure what to say about that, but the one I'll probably consider most likely is Macross. And there you go. That is Erica 7. After Ocean, OVA, and Game. Next up, we have Fireworks from the producer Worldwide Sensations, your name. You know, one of the characters reminds me of someone off of Baki Monogatari. Oh yes, I wouldn't be surprised if this film was aired on CTV or CBS in the United States. I can imagine what that would be like. Hell, maybe if uh, 
A Silent Night was aired on... No, 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 no. A Silent Voice. I can imagine that being aired on CTV and NBC in the United States. Anyway, enough said about fireworks. <laughs> Next up, we got Final Fantasy VII Advent Children Complete. First anime Blu-ray bought from Sunrise Records back in 2017. Code already expired. This with the main character, Cloud Strife. Next up, Final Fantasy The Spirits Within. 2001 film. 2007 Blu-ray, 2016 reprint. Oh, by the way, Advent Children Complete is from 2006, I believe, and um, 2009 Blu-ray plus 2016 reprint. Wait, let me just check. And there's your disc for Final Fantasy of the Spirits Within. And yes, I also have this movie on Blu ray. Wait, no, 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 no. I meant DVD. Next up we have Fractail, originally released in 2011. From the producer of Rod TV. There you go. That is Fractale. No, Fractal. The complete series. <laughs> Next up. Anime Classics release of Full Metal Panic. The complete series. With Konami Chidori. Full Metal Panic. Originally released in 2002 from ADD Films. And re released by Funimation. Four DVDs, uh, three Blu-rays, uh, black discs for DVD, and um, purple or pink discs for the Blu-ray side.
another thick Blu-ray case that I have, just like a certain magical index. Speaking of Full Metal Panic, we have the second raid of Full Metal Panic. <laughs> In 2005. By the way, this is only on Blu-ray. There's no DVD of it, too. For my copy, at least. <laughs> or this print, I should say. And there you go. That's the second raid of Full Metal Panic. And now, fast forward to the year 2018. In 2019, Blu-ray release of Full Metal Panic, Invisible Victory. From Katokawa. And yes, the Full Metal Panic, the second raid, is probably like a 2011 Blu-ray, I believe. I think it was 2011. Maybe it was 2009, can't seem to remember. And there you go, that's Full Metal Panic for you. Got three Blu-rays of Full Metal Panic. Now moving on, here we have another Sensei Filmers release of Gate. Released in 2015 to 2016. 2017 Blu-ray release. Here we have um, the main character who is um, Yoshi Tommy And Rory Mercury. Here we have that red-haired girl with the red eyes. Uh, I forgot what her name was, but her name is Spanish. I can tell you that. Features David Wald as one of the voice actors in the English dub. Now it's that about Geet. Here you have season one of Goblin Slayer. Ooh. Now that's a dark one. With a dark plot and it has a bloody amazing opening. And yes, I'd love to see this on CTV Sci-Fi Channel, Goblin Slayer. And there you go. That's Goblin Slayer for you. Ooh. Next up, Funimation Central's release of Heavy Object. Which takes place somewhere in the Antarctica. For the studio behind Prison School, she went out in Food Wars, the director of The Slayers and Shigugi no Shano franchises, 
based on a light novel by the same name, no, by the same author of a certain magical index. Oh, by the way, Bruce in school and Ashima now looks stupid, but Freedom War? No, no, Food Wars? I might consider it. Not Freedom Wars, Food Wars. <sighs> Digital copy code. Here we have disc one. Crap. And this four parts one and two of heavy weapon. Wait, 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 what did I just say? Heavy weapon? No, 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 heavy object. Damn it. And there you go. That's heavy object for you. Originally released in 2015. 2016 and 2017 Blu ray releases. Next up, High School of the Dead. High School of the Motherfucking Dead. Ooh, now this looks badass. Here's Psycho. No, no. Psycho. Not with a PSY. S. A E K O. Is that what her name was? And here you have that orange haired girl. I forgot what her name was. But oh man. This looks fucking awesome. And believe it or not, it's actually aired on Frizzens TV. Well, that's in French. No joke. It really is. I saw it with my own eyes. But sadly, I don't have Frizzens TV. So I can't check it out. I wish I could view it. Too. But sadly, they haven't gotten to free preview yet. Too. But if they come in free preview, I'll definitely, show, definitely give you a capture for sure. If that ever happens. <laughs> Alright. Now moving on, here we have How Not to Summon the Demon Lord with Shara L. Greenwood. From Crunchyroll and Funimation. The, uh, the Isekai hit from 2018. Twenty nineteen Blu-ray. And yes, again I'd love to see this on CTV Sci-Fi Channel, just like Goblin Slayer. There you go. That's how not to summon a demon lord. And now, for the last letter of the alphabet for this part, too, which is I, here is Iron Man Rise of Technovore, 2013 Blu ray release from Sony Pictures.
from Madhouse. Well, let's see. This digital copy code um, expired on April 16th of 2016. Next up we have Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? Arrow of the Orion. Here's Hestia, 2019 film and 2019 Blu-ray. Speaking of Don Monchi, I also have the 2019 Blu-ray of Is It Wrong to Try to... No, Is It Wrong to Expect a Hot Spring in a Dungeon? Of course, we all know who the main character is, Bell Cornell. And he's often compared to a rabbit, too. July 23rd only, English subtitled screening. Man, I wish to see an anime movie in theaters, and I don't care what it is. Just my dream of seeing an anime movie in theaters. And yes, I do have this Blu-ray which I showed you previously. And that was just mad. For the Don Monchi movie which came out in 2019. And uh, here's the disc for it. Next up, anime classics release of Is This a Zombie? aka Koriwa Zombie Des Desuka Katokawa. There's um, Haruna. Um, uh, Yuku and Hellsife. Ceres. Is that what her name was? And the main character is Ayumu. Ayumu Aikawa. Revived as a zombie from. A necromancer. You call it hell safe. <laughs> and yes, just so you know, Ayamu is the magical garment girl. After st stealing powers from Haruna. Ha 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 ha. No, oh, what funny names. <laughs> DVDs in pink. Blu-ray discs in blue. And yes, Aimu Aikawa does not like being called a pervert. And the last anime Blu-ray I'm going to show you for this part is... Is this a zombie of the dead? This is a 2015 Blu-ray release. Is this a zombie? Season 1 was a 2014 Blu-ray release. This is the 2012, no, 2015 Blu-ray. Season 2, which came out in 2012. Uh, and yes, believe it or not, this was aired, in, aired on Chiller in the United States. 
pink discs for DVD and Blu-ray discs and gold. Season 1 of This is a Zombie from 2014. No, wait, no, no, 2011. My mistake. And uh, that will do it for part 1 of my anime Blu-ray collection. And see you all in part 2. Which, uh, we're going to start off with the, the J's or the K's? Uh, K's. Anyway, I'll see you then. See you all in part two. Ta-ta.